and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Spider Karma. It's going to be our next deck in our 5 0 Friday stream today. <laughs> Didn't realize we we're going to have a 5 0 Friday, but it looks like it so far. We're going to try to keep 5 0 Friday going. This deck is very, very good against aggro decks. We have like our Brood Awakenings and our Spiders, like we have some, some different blockers. Um, but then, of course, you know, we have Grass the Undying, Withering Whale, a lot of good tools against aggro decks. Um, but then we're also, you know, we also have a pretty good late game because of Karma. Karma, of course, whenever you, uh, whenever Karma is enlightened, then it makes cards like Withering Whale and Grass just even better. One little small change that I'm making to this deck, because our deck's already so good against aggro, I'm taking out one hapless aristocrat and helping out other control matchups by getting an, another good finisher by getting this Ledros in here. So we, a lot previous times that we've played this, we hadn't played Ledros, but yeah, so this is kind of like Spooky Karma, um, except for a little lower to the ground with Elise and Frenzied Skitter and some more spiders. So it's Spider Karma. Okay. So let's, um, let's see, let's go to the monastery. And here we go. Yeah, I, I like the barkeep. I like playing barkeep decks. Um, yeah, I started a. Um, I started a thing on Mondays where I play meme tier Mondays and um, had a catastrophe barkeep deck this past Monday that we went 5 0 with in Masters rank with catastrophe. That was awesome. Um, let's see. So we're playing against slow deck. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This is such a good card, though. But it's just slow. Let's get rid of this, too. Uh, it does. Yeah, Mobile Addicts has... The copy deck code is in the top right-hand corner. Um, you ex It's the export deck. You click that in the very top right-hand corner. And that, that's how you get the deck code to copy. It's probably not worth bouncing. This could be a tough matchup. Could be. I pull the strings. Okay, cool. You found it? Good. What's up, Ravoki? Yeah, the ramp's scary. Well, I definitely did that in the wrong order. I don't know if they can do. I don't know if you can set it up in the other order, though. I don't know if because you, you probably you can't re respond to a fast spell with a slow spell. So I guess they can't. They just can't set it up in the other order. They could let me attack first. Four, four days to the first expansion, not four months. Four days till our first expansion. Yeah, I can't wait till the mobile version either. We got basically a week for the mobile. Kind of feel like this is going to be our first loss of the day. What happens if 
if I kill a Nivea, if they like block with a Nivea, okay, so this is just a one mana card. I was gonna say like, what happens if I bounce Egg Nivea? But yeah, so it's just a one mana card they get to replay. That's what happens there. I am glad I put a Ledros in the deck, but... Ooh, that was a good draw. Here in your time of need. To copy... Um... Or, like, sorry, to count... Not copy, to counter. To counter... Um, counter a War Mother's Call. Snow, wind, and ice. By force of will. Well, of course, I wanted to kill Anivia and then grasp and kill, you know, kill the Anivia. That's what I wanted to do. on what to do. I don't really want to use a deny on something like besides Ruination or War Mother's Call. Hopefully these karmas make some more denies for me. That'd be really nice. Come on, more denies, please. Oh. Could be useful. You can only go six deep, though. That's the card I want. Anivia is so annoying. I just can't deal with it. Such naivete. Just can't deal with it.
Yeah, there's nothing nothing really that I do that kills this Anivia. I'll create some denies. No. Deny? No. I made three splinter sales. Splinter souls. Three of them. Yeah, yeah, now I can grasp Anivia and then Withering Whale. I don't love this. I kind of want to attack first. I don't love, like, I do this, they Ruination. I guess that they Ruination or Avalanche. I just kill their egg also. Pretty annoying. Don't get to gain a lot of life that I would have. Be tough and you know winning this game it's gonna be tough no so that'd be three dead three dead karma so I wouldn't get the second like life car like a live karma I'd only have so I'd have only have one regular karma not two um Wish I had my own Lidros. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Honestly, I, I don't know. Playing Spider Karma. Yeah, this is a tough matchup. We're, we're definitely more built to beat aggro decks.
Spend five mana. Draw, draw two. It's also good. Okay, we're getting some cards. I did. I yeah. There's. I I just. I did right before we started playing. I did add a Ledros to the deck. So yeah, we have a Ledros in here. Us out. This is game? No, we don't have stuff. Oh, that's still game, right? That's still game. Let's go! Harrowing! Alright, we did it. What to know? Good job, Harrowing. Just make a whole bunch of 5-4s just out of nowhere. It's good enough. Clutch. Alright. Karma is. This can be tough because Ezreal, basically Ezreal can just combo kill us. Which is not ideal. I used to, Lone Drifter, I used to. It's not a matchup where I want to have just a ton of allies, because you know, want to make it more difficult for Ezreal to to turn on. So, I, but you know, like these are our our uh, high impact cards, and so I like those. But of course, it does give them. You know, it does mean that their removal will be will be used against our high, our high impact targets. It's pluses and minuses. No, I've never played Duel Masters. Well, I like trading. Trading where Ezreal doesn't um, level up. That's good for me. I don't have a good play, do I? Brood Awakening uses my mana the best, but if they play like a Chump Wump, it's not a good Brood Awakening. I think I just Shadow Assassin.
Don't want to do this after combat because of the one mana heal three. Need to do this right now so they can't use that to save their card. take four. Good to have this spider out for Brood Awakening, the lease, and all that kind of stuff. Death Mark. Like the worst card I could hit. Stop, Harvey. Stop. Yeah, Death Mark's OP. <laughs> yeah, not not so much. I mean, that was a, some good cards for them to have. They have four cards and then two mushroom clouds. I have six cards and like this crappy death mark. So we're doing good on cards. But we all know that to start getting to like turn 10, their deck can just go crazy. Solitary Monk is so good here. I need, to, I need to kill it. Otherwise, it'll kill me. But then if I kill it, then I don't have other removal. That's such a good card here. I'm, at, I'm just at a, like a really awkward spot. I don't, I don't have like Deny to protect Karma. I can't double spell with anything. Everything costs 4 and 5, and I have... Yuck, and I have 8. And all the cards that I need to play are the five drops. This is just really, really awkward. Rough spot right now, puppy.
they just use their deny on that on that thing. Yuck. Is like they they just have two cards um like so we are we are doing better card wise not sure how much that'll really help us but we'll see Ezreal's a ways away from being turned on only three out of eight check out the goods on this one I mean, I guess my worst case scenario is they play Karma. Like, them playing Karma is my worst case scenario. I can either play Karma and have Deny backup, or play Ledros. And I have nothing. My worst case scenario is still them playing Karma. I guess this is a bad scenario that I didn't really think about or envision. This is a really bad scenario. I forgot about this card. That was very bad. Okay, that was worse than my worst case scenario plan. That was even worse. Where there is life, there is hope. They got a random spell from my deck. That's not good. Attacking with these basically deny just keeps them from getting two Ezreal triggers. And I think it's worth a card for two Ezreal triggers. Two Ezreal triggers is a problem. Man, these Yones have been great. Did not even consider Yone in my worst case scenario plan. Withering Whale. I would like to, I'd like a Withering Whale, please. Yone's nice in budget decks. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Only a rare. Yeah, it's real powerful. Oh, that's a terrible draw. Yeah, that's game, isn't it? Wow. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, finally picked up a loss. Yone's destroyed me. If I just didn't play Ledros, you know, like playing the Ledros ended up costing me. If I just don't play Ledros, could have denied the Yone trigger, would have been able to block. And then, yeah, they got the free spell, which was that Brood Awakening. That was perfect. That went very well for my opponent. All right, as Heimerdinger. Let's go with the spiders. Come closer. I don't bite. No. Last opponent did that also. Turn to Elise and it gets thermogenic beamed. They may play another three power thing, that then I get to skitter. Make it so the pickpockets can't block. Hapless Aristocrat is great against Chempunk Pickpocket. Could block with a Shadow Assassin. I wouldn't really like that. Could happen. Whoa, we got a resub for 29 awesome months. It's Schnapps. Thank you so much, Schnapps. Bring some hype in. We're at three out of five for our sub goal today now. Only need two more to hit that sub goal. We're getting there. Thank you, Schnapps. Hope you're having a good start to your weekend here on this Friday. It's like if I play Karma, they you know they kill it. Night falls. Backup Karma, just in case, and we can draw two. Also, just in case. It makes it harder for them to play Heimerdinger for playing Karma, but maybe they do just throw out Heimerdinger. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Just throw out Ezreal. Well, I might as well try to trade three twos before they mystic shot my three two. I 
Puppy, we need more luck. We need your puppy luck. Your turn. They cannot hide. Hmm. Gotcha. Don't love this. this at all. If they static shock and kill both of these, I will glimpse beyond this and still be able to play the other karma. Okay, they're going to static shock those. It doesn't work. If I glimpse beyond both of them, it doesn't, like, they still get to draw the card. I've tried that before of, like, killing both of my things that they're targeting, but they, they still get to draw the card. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I want free spells. I want good spells. Play Shadow Assassin and Karma this turn. You cannot escape. Sounds like a plan. Shadow Assassin to be able to get in front of the Ezreal. And Karma to do Karma things. Could also pass. And they waste all this mana. I don't know if passing puts us in a better position or not. I was like, what is Staggering Strikes? I, I didn't realize they played a Yone at first. I thought they just played this card. I was like, zero mana, stun two enemies? What is this card? Figured it out. would be best case scenario that this resolves. No, why did that have another deny? Boo. That 
would have been. They're playing Heimerdinger and Elise. That would have been a really good ruination. Ruination again, but then like a Heimerdinger could cause a lot of problems. This is tough. This is a, definitely a difficult game. All, all three of these games that we've played with this deck have been really difficult. One went our way, one didn't go our way. They've all been difficult, though. The problem with playing this now is, again, Heimerdinger. Um, but I would like to clear up these and then be able to attack. Um. We'll just play Shadow Assassin instead. trouble. We could definitely be in trouble now. Leveled up Ezreal is certainly problematic. Ideally, we would have Karma back in play before we Withering Whale. You know, have a trigger twice, gain, gain six. Um, I could Withering Whale plus Vile Feast, though, to try to take out Ezreal. Right away. Peace to 
whatever the cost. Obviously, I could have tried ruination, but if they deny it, it's, that's a lot of trouble. If they if they don't have deny, just withering will should be pretty good. If they don't have deny. Get rid of all three elusives. For my elusives. This can make four spiderlings if I want. I don't know if I want four spiderlings. Cool. So, yeah, opponent's playing very well. At least we're still alive for now. Oh, this is one more mana than... I, mm. I thought I was going to be able to lease and skitter and grass. That's, that's one extra mana than what I have. Can't awakening and grasp. There's nothing to fear. I guess we can will instead of grasp. We're scared of Heimerdinger. Thanks, Bianaki. Yeah, we've had we've had a good successful day so far today. Discard Dawn and Dusk? Oh, from Flash of Brilliance? They've cast two Flash of Brilliance, so they got two six mana spells. So I guess they just discarded one of them. So one of these others is a is a six mana spell. So I can do it. Like, I have priority next, so I get to attack before they play that. Get all that damage in. Hey, Sherlock, stream's going great. It's been 5-0 Friday. This is for our first two decks. I have played three really long, difficult control mirrors with this deck so far. We're one and one, and we're in the third game right now. It 
So I believe they have one other card that costs six plus mana in hand, I believe. Uh, I believe they're both six plus mana cards. No. Six plus mana cards aren't usually protection. You know, whether it's like deny twin disciplines, that kind of stuff. Oh, stand United? Oh my gosh, a Stand United? I guess I guess there is one that's protection. Wow. <sighs> yeah, that was that was perfect. Wow. Yeah. Pretty great. Dang. Okay, cool. Thanks, Sherlock. Yeah. I'll check that out. It cannot escape. That was a very good random six plus mana card to hit. No, I, I don't think I should have led dressed at all any of these turns yet. No, not at all. Because I wanted to be able to kill Heimerdinger. So now playing, uh, but but it would that just that just happened. Um, but now playing uh, playing Ledros does let them play whatever six plus mana spell they have. If I just go straight to attacks, they have pretty easy blocks, though. Uh, I could Karma plus William. Do I want Karma plus William over Ledros? Maybe. This is a difficult decision. Karma Ledras. Or sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. Karma William. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why I'm kind of thinking like maybe we get them to one HP, um, and then the Ledros will be able to finish them off. We'll have to see. <laughs> Whenever I say thanks, Sherlock, it feels condescending comment towards somebody. No, that's, that's just the person's name in chat is Sherlock. But yeah, I can see that. How you're... Thanks, Sherlock. <laughs> Thanks, puppy. So if they want to replay that, so basically they can't play the Solitary Monk, so they want to replay it, they bounce these, so they can't replay it right now. Um, so it's just, what is this last card in hand? That's the question, what is that last card? I believe it's a 6 plus mana card. Okay, there wasn't anything that saved them. There we go, Spider Karma 2 and 1. Those were three super hard fought matches. As that was almost an hour for those three matches. 
<laughs> no, I don't, no, I never saw that golden guy. Um, Lee Sin, I think Lee Sin is, is pretty decent, but not like... I think Lee Sin's good, but I think it's kind of like, like Lux good. You know, like where Lux is really good, I think Lee Sin's going to be really good, but it's also a six mana champion, so we'll see how much play it sees. Um, I think Lee Sin's kind of the same level as Lux. Karma Ez is what we lost to before. No, that's the same Heimer level up music that they've been using. What's the best deck against that Fiora Zed Monk standalone deck? I like um, I like the Frostbite Midrange a lot that we played earlier. I think that's good against that deck. Um, just Frostbite spells in general, I think are good there. You know, they make like their one really big creature if you can, you know, Frostbite them and especially have like the, the wolf go along with Frostbite. Um, as an individual card, Rhyme Tusk Shaman as an individual card is just awesome in that matchup. I don't have any Rhyme Tusk Shamans in that deck, but that's that's a card that if that deck gets you know more popular, that'd be something to put in that deck. Like instead of Kato the Arm, play Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Because, of course, Rhyme Tusk Frostbite's the strongest enemy each round. Basically, just kind of using my mana here. I'm planning on playing Karma next turn. I just hope they don't just drop Karma also. But, oh well, even if they do. I think it puts me on a good spot of winning by doing this. And I don't mind if Karma dies because we have Rekindler. So I'm putting a lot of pressure on them. Mystic Shot first kind of tells me they have they have Thermogenic Beam, which is a bummer. It's a good turn. That's kind of a bummer. That was a good turn. Williams just don't do anything, do they? What's this you got there? Williams are just not doing anything. Yeah, Lisa in the new card, that plus Might is 14 damage to them alone. Yeah. I mean, you have to, you know, you have to... You have to have, like, leveled up Lee, and then Might, and then attack, and then and then the attack hit, and then it does 14 damage to him. So, yeah, if you have your six-man champion leveled up, and then you attack him, and, and then also use Might, it does a lot of damage. Two out of eight for Ezreal. Get him. Get him, spiders. Wow, they're just taking it all. 
Taking it all in. Um, so sacking one of these so we can get an extra spot so I can rekindle her um, and get uh, get karma back. Wow, they didn't just rummage and put the jury put this thing into play and block one of these. Wow, that's surprising. They discarded Thermogenic Beam. Oh, that is great for me. Did they discard Thermogenic Beam? Because Thermogenic Beam would kill the Karma. Alright, well. At least they got rid of, you know... Uh, that cost them Will of Ionia and a spell that goes upstairs. Spiraling. Let's go. Humility before power. You cannot escape. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to try to bounce Yone. Which will then make this lethal. I still have Grass plus Deny. So I... They have to have three thing, three interaction spells, basically. Um, on this. Or just, like, removal spells for these. Um, so when I see you're a really competitive player, I have a strange question. I'm in love with two decks, Yasuo Tempo because of Yasuo, and any control deck with Shadow Isles in it. You love control decks. I found a, a Yasuo Noxus control, and I want to know your opinion on it, and if in your opinion it's possible to create a Yasuo Shadow Isle control. The, yeah, the, the Yasuo, just the Yasuo deck's pretty decent. I think it's, it's one of the better decks. It's not, it's not like in the very top tier of decks, but it's it's certainly a respectable deck, and um, like the current uh, Yasuo plus Noxus. Um, yeah, so I think I think it's a it's definitely a, a pretty decent deck to play, you know. So I you know it's um, you know it's probably in the like a, around like probably around like the fifth best deck like in 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 the game, um, you know somewhere around there. So, nothing wrong with it. Um, as far as pairing Yasuo with Shadow Isles, I think that is doable. You losing Noxus means you lose uh, some stun. You lose a lot of stun cards. Losing like a La Arachnoid Sentry hurts. But of course, you're going to be playing a longer game with Shadow Isles. You can, um, yeah. So I, I think it's that's definitely doable. You. You want your you want Shadow Isles to be to give you a lot of anti aggro cards. You want like your Vile Feast, probably Brood Awakening, Withering Whale, uh, like that kind of stuff. And then you can have Yasuo, and then your top end you want to be your um, things that will really turn on at Yasuo with. Uh, let's get rid of this and this. You want your Yones and Mina Swiftfoots at the top end, and those you know, can turn on Yasuo. You may want you may want to pair that with Karma for like your other champion where Karma will make your Shadow Isle spells better. But it is gonna be it is gonna be more difficult to level up Yasuo if you don't have Ionia and Noxus together. Okay. 
So we've played four, four tough control matches so far. It looks like we have another control match here. We really want to play against aggro with this deck, but all five games were against control. A lot of control running around. Lots of control. You're welcome, Conti. You're welcome. Hopefully that gives you some good ideas. If it's a fight they want. If it's a bite they want, they should go to the local restaurant. Mamba is referring to in on the 28th, next Tuesday, um, there will be a new new set released. We'll have a new region with Bilgewater and a bunch of new cards. And so, yeah, everything's, like, things are going to change quite a bit. Um, as people try out all the new cards and stuff like that. For the homestead. Kind of want to play Shadow Assassin. Get that extra draw and see if we draw like a, a deny. Yeah, if you want, your, uh, this link also just has that Imger right there, has all the new cards. Let's go the other way. These are these are fearsome because of a Lee, so I don't have to worry about the sentry blocking. Can't block with the sentry. I'm doing one less point of damage by playing Assassin instead of Skitterer. But we'd get the extra card draw also to maybe get like a, a deny or something that we need to. Yeah, Swain looks really cool. Alright, so they're tapped out again. I'm going to sack this to draw two and then play Karma. So I won't cast the other Glimpse Beyond. We get two Ezreal triggers. It is pretty tempting to play this Brood Awakening. But again, I think we just go get more free spells. Playing for a late game. Free spells.
I'll play this. I'd have two mana left. I can't harsh winds. I could pass. A true Falyorian welcome. There's no way they pass. Safeguard our homes. Well, I can't save the Spider Queen Elise and save Karma. I can't save them both. You and Stan Unite. I can only save one. Um, and with grass, so I can only save one. So which one are we going to sacrifice? Get rid of karma. Karma least trade still. Worst case scenario is elixir of iron, but I don't really feel like this is an elixir of iron deck that we're playing against. If I save karma, we're not really killing one of these things. Oh no. Well, now we're going to close to be on the Karma. I uh, correct. Yes, I've I've never played the League of Legends. Yeah, so this is my first exposure to the world of the League of Legends world. Plan is Brood Awakening, Frenzied Skitter. Obviously, I really hope they don't kill Elise right now. Really hope they don't kill Elise. But they, their deck's all, you know, has tons of removal, so they do have a lot of removal for Elise. It's thinking about it. Don't kill Elise. Don't kill Elise. Let me attack. Let me attack. Okay. Let's get that. Now these things can block, because of fearsome. Gross. Oh, gross. Well, that was great for them. I leveled up Elise and everything too. Or Ezreal, sorry, they leveled up Ezreal and everything too. Getting to the point where probably want to just ruination now. Time for a true display of skill. Oh, 
probably a pretty good ruination. Uh, what kind of deck do you see Swain in? Um, I'm not sure, honestly, with that. That like we have to see like a lot more of the cards and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm honestly not not too sure like exactly what kind of deck. But I mean, you know, like Swain is just a you know it's a it's a big um, you know Noxus. It's a huge Noxus beater. Like you think you just be like like the top end of an of an aggro deck. Or, or, um, you know, the focal points of a mid-range deck. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty good, pretty good champion. I mean, I think it's, it's kind of similar to like, you know, Garen-ish. Yeah, like it's, it's going to be a good card. Garenish like power level, not not exactly like what it does, but just power level wise. Chump lumps. I don't like them. Them chumps. I don't really want to tap out. I don't really want to play Shadow Assassin and top tap out. Right now, and as you know, if they just play Ezreal, they they'd have all those have all that all those burst speed spells. All right. Well, we know they have an Ezreal in hand. Even if they play Ezreal, they can only play one of these things right now. Well, thanks, Conti. You're thank you, and that's really kind. Thank you. And yeah, if you. If you if you're not able to be on all the time, remember all the replays are up on YouTube also. So there's the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash hawktai. And I put all the decks that I play, I put them all up there. And so you can watch them at your leisure, watch them, you know, one and a half speed or, you know, whatever you like to do. Thank you so much there, Conti. So with Conti subbing, that means we are at four out of five subs for our sub goal, only need one more. Thanks, Conti. And then Prop getting the Twitch Prime sub also. Y'all get some hype in the chat for our, our new subs and hitting the sub goal today. That is great. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> D 
GG's. Um... Doesn't mean I can keep Deny available. I'm gonna draw another champion. So that's got that's gonna be their third Ezreal. We've we've killed two Ezreals, right? Well, sorry, we've killed one. This is gonna be us killing the second. They play Ezreal. I can bounce Ezreal with the Will of Ionia also. Whoa, they're casting Ez's Mystic Shot? All right, well, we're definitely countering that so they don't get any more Ezreals. So this is going to be the last one. We're going to be at eight. There's a good chance they have Harsh Winds because they haven't played any Harsh Winds yet, so there's a good chance they have that. So... Um, As far as, like, thinking that I have lethal or, like, if I play Commander Ledros, they could, you know, just Harsh Winds the two. Um, so I kind of want to just go to attacks, let them Harsh Winds, and then, you know, have, like, Grasp, Will of Ionia. Like, I basically kind of want to keep Grasp up, because I feel like the only way they're killing me is by the direct damage. So I don't really want to tap out on having Grasp the Undying available. I guess I could have played Shadow Assassin first, but yeah, it's fine. All right, Conti, yeah, have a great night. I will see you later. Thanks so much for stopping by and everything. Thank you. All right, well, they're not going to do eight damage with two cards. So... Return to us. Get more karma. Do eight damage with five cards. That's a great draw. That's a great draw. Because grasp like the thing has to survive for it to like drain three. This can just gain three and we you know we can gain nine now. That was a great draw. I think we're gonna be four and one, but we'll see. We do have a lot of puff caps, so I mean it's not it's not over. I don't basically what I'm worried about is untapping and then drawing and drawing like a, like we just randomly draw five puff caps when we untap and they have like two mystic shots or you know get excited or whatever and then I try playing these but they just respond and, and kill me all right but we should be good now There's the Harsh Winds. Oh, they drew that one off the Progress Day, even. They have another Harsh Winds. Okay. Um, this doesn't do anything. It's harsh, but fair.
All right, bounce old Ledros back to our hand, them being at one. Old Letty. And I don't think they're doing 15 damage. All right, Letty gets the win. All right, four and one, still a real good showing considering we played all control decks and our deck is, is really designed to beat aggro. Um, and so we still played against all control decks and won 80% of, of them, you know, versus, uh, you know, won four out of five in control mirrors. Control mirrors are tough. You know, like there are long, difficult games. They're tough, but we were victorious and 80% and of them. We'll take that. Not quite, not quite another 5-0 for 5-0 Friday. I tried, not quite, but um, we'll take 14-1. and one. We'll take that. All right, we got one more deck to play. We're going to try Zed's Standalone Aggro. It's going to be our next deck that we're going to play up next. But anyway, there's Spider Karma. Um, this, is, this is a really good deck for um, the lower ranks. In particular, if you're somebody playing, you know, like if if you like if you just start out on the game, you know, you probably don't have the um, the wild cards and everything to put this together. But if you do spend spend a little money, or if you or if you have been playing for a while and now you want to get into ranked, if you're in like the lower ranks, this is going to be a good deck because the lower ranks have a lot of aggro, um, including like a lot of even spider aggro, and this deck is great against spider aggro because you you just have like similar spider stuff, but then you just go bigger than them. Um, and you have Karma finish games out with a lot of life gain with Grasp and Withering Whale. So this, so yeah, this is a, a great anti-aggro deck. So it's a really good deck for the lower ranks if, if you're uh, interested in a, a ranking up deck like that. But anyway, that's Spider Karma. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.